Hi, welcome back to the channel. My name's Dave Smith, Gutenberg core team member and full-time WordPress contributor. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek into an interesting new feature that is coming to the WordPress navigation system, potentially in WordPress 6.0. And that is the navigation sidebar. And we can see this here. And what the navigation sidebar is gonna allow us to do is to give us some control over manipulating navigation menus outside of the navigation block. But first, before we look into this in more detail, why would we want to do this? What is the problem with managing navigations with the navigation block? After all, it's quite convenient that if I want to change this navigator item, I can call it Dave's item and it's saved. I've done it directly in the canvas. It's been directly manipulated and we're all good, aren't we? Well, actually, no, not always, because what happens if your theme does something a bit like this? And I've seen this before, and this is the collapsed version of the navigation. You can actually set the navigation block to always be collapsed like this. And that's great, except within the editor, now it's very difficult to manipulate or edit the menus within this collapsed state. So how do we work around this at the moment? Well, it's a little bit clunky, to be honest. One way I've seen people do it is to switch to list view, find their navigation, and then manipulate items within the navigation from the list view, such as move Dave's into this uh, nested item, or move sample page up by one, mm, but it is a little bit clunky and you can't really see the changes happening very well. It doesn't inspire a lot of confidence. Uh, so the real way I've seen people do it is actually to turn off the collapse view, make their changes that they want, and then re-enable it, which is obviously far from ideal. The other reason why we might want to be able to edit navigation menus in isolation from the navigation block is for the purposes of safe exploration. And what I mean by that is best illustrated by an example. So imagine you run an e-commerce store and you have your primary navigation in the head of your site and then it's coming up to Black Friday and you might wanna have a specialized version of that navigation menu purely for your Black Friday week or month. Um, so you would probably wanna prep that in advance and have it ready to go on the day. And with the current system, that's really, really difficult. You actually have to add a navigation block, make the changes live, and then find a way to save that without it going live on the front of your site. And it all gets, all the flows get very tricky. So what we really want is a way to create navigation menus as well outside of the block so that we can do things like that and explore safely and create drafts of navigations without having them having to have them go live immediately. So this is part of the goal with this navigation sidebar effort. And it's basically born out of an issue that Matthias Ventura, the lead architect of Gutenberg raised, which is number 36667, surface the navigation structure as a dedicated UI. And in this, he outlines a vision for a sidebar that would open and show the structure of the current navigation and also other navigations that exist on your WordPress site even if they are not currently used within a navigation block. And off the back of that, a contributor, Kerry, who's a regular Gutenberg contributor, raised this PR, which is adding a dedicated sidebar for managing the layout of navigation menus. And she's been very specific with the wording here because it is only currently experimental and it is only currently for managing the layout of navigation menus. As we will see now, there are several limitations. This is a first pass. And we will no doubt if this ships, we will iterate on this as we go. I think Kerry is very conscious that it's missing a number of features, but with WordPress and the way it works, it tends to work on an iterative approach. So we will land this sidebar and then we will be very conscious of new features that are required and we'll add them incrementally rather than trying to land the whole sidebar with all the features you could possibly imagine in one go. So that's the way things tend to work. So do bear that in mind as we review this new navigation sidebar. So let's switch back over to the editor and let's reveal the navigation block again, just for utility purposes. And now I'm gonna spin open this new item here, which is navigation, and that's gonna open the navigation sidebar. And as we can see, we've currently selected and are showing here the nested menu, which actually is what we are showing here. And that's because the sidebar reflects what you are currently selected in um, your first navigation. 
So if I want to manipulate this, I can do so directly now from here. So let's move home down a bit. And as you can see, you should be able to see in the canvas that the home item is moving in response to where I change it in, in the sidebar here. And that's quite good. And let's say I want to, uh, I don't know, duplicate this one. I can do so. And if I decide I don't want it, then I can remove that. And that's all brilliant. I can then save that. We can see the changes are being saved. Save and it's all done. And just to prove it works without the navigation block being visible, which is fairly obvious, I suppose, but let's do that again, open the nested layout. Let's move home back up to the top. Takes a few clicks. Home is back up at the top. Let's reveal the navigation block again. And home is now the first item. So you can see you are manipulating this navigation even though you can't see it, which is quite good quite similar to the list view, but it's a bit more dedicated to navigation. But I think the real cool thing and the real power comes when you're editing a menu that isn't currently active in a navigation block. So primary menu is another menu that I have created on my WordPress site, but which it currently isn't in use on a navigation block. So let's switch to that. It's gonna load. And here are the items. And I might want to change home again. I might move up a few places and I can click save and the changes to the primary menu are reflected here and we can save that and those changes will work. And now if I swap out this one to use primary menu, we can see that it does reflect, sure enough, what we just manipulated in the sidebar. So what we have currently with this PR is a way, is that a first pass of a way to manage navigation menus outside of the navigation block and outside of the block canvas. But of course, there are some shortcomings and I think they're probably pretty obvious from the demo I just showed you there, but the main ones are, you can't manipulate the text here, you can't manipulate styling here, it is mainly for the, for the structure of the navigation, which could be useful, but it would be kind of handy to be able to manipulate the text of the item as well. Um, it doesn't highlight the item in the canvas if it's visible when you're selecting these. I think that would be a nice thing to have. Um, there is a bit of awkwardness with the UX here, having to scroll to the right to access the dots menu in the up and down isn't ideal, so we need to do some work with the overflowing here. And of course, you can't add menu items via this sidebar at the moment, which is a, a limitation. You might want to be able to manipulate it, and if you can't add items, the manipulation is somewhat limited. And of course, the big elephant in the room is that you clearly can't add new navigation menus here at the moment. You can choose to uh, edit an existing one, but you can't create from scratch. And that is a limitation. But as I said at the beginning of the video, this is a first pass, a proof of concept. And if this ships, it will no doubt evolve and improve, perhaps in time for WordPress 6.0, perhaps not. It will just have to see about how much feedback we get. And speaking of feedback, if you have any thoughts on what you've seen in this video today, if you love it, if you really hate it, or you think it needs other features that I haven't spoken about, then we'd love to hear from you. And the best way you can do that is to leave a message in the comments below and I will make sure that it gets back to the team that are working on this feature. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like it. It really, really helps. And if you are interested in hearing more about the navigation block and how it's evolving in the Gutenberg plugin, please do subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Okay, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.